How to knit the shingle stitch, English style. For this tutorial, you will need a pair of knitting needles. Special thanks to our sponsor, Skissel, for providing today's needles. Today, we are using their Addy Lace Interchangeable Clicks in the size 8. And a ball of yarn. For this stitch, you'll need to know the following techniques. Knit, purl, knit through the back loop, purl through the back loop. To begin this stitch, you must cast on in multiples of 10 plus 5. Row 1. Beginning on the right side of our work, we are going to knit 5. Then we're going to start our repeat by knitting one through the back loop. So we'll insert our needle purlwise and go through the back. Then we are going to purl one and knit through the back loop. And we'll do that again. So purl one and knit through the back loop again and then we are going to knit five to finish our repeat so we're going to repeat this sequence until we reach the end of the row row two we're going to begin by knitting five Then we're going to start our repeat by purling one through the back loop. So we'll bring the yarn in front. We're going to bring our needle behind the stitch and come through the stitch backwards. Then we'll bring that around to the front and purl. Then we're going to knit one and purl through the back loop again. And we will knit one more and purl through the back loop. Okay, then we're going to finish our repeat by knitting five. Okay, so we're going to repeat this sequence until the end of the row. Row three, we're going to repeat row one. So we'll knit five. Then we're going to knit one through the back loop and purl one. Knit one through the back loop, purl one. Knit one through the back loop, and then we will knit five to finish our repeat. So we're going to repeat this sequence until we reach the end of the row. Row four, we're going to repeat row two, so we will begin by knitting five. Okay, then we're going to start our repeat by purling one through the back loop. Then we will knit one, purl one through the back loop, knit one, purl one through the back loop, and we'll finish our repeat by knitting five. So we'll repeat this sequence until we reach the end of the row. Row 5. We're going to repeat row 1 again. So we'll begin by knitting 5. Then we're going to knit 1 through the back loop to start our repeat. And we will purl 1. 
knit one through the back loop, purl one, knit one through the back loop, and then knit five to finish our repeat. So we'll repeat this sequence until we reach the end of the row. Row six, we're going to repeat row two again, so we'll begin by knitting five. Okay, then we're going to purl one through the back loop to start our repeat. Knit one, purl one through the back loop, knit one, and purl one through the back loop. And then we're going to finish our repeat by knitting five. So continue repeating this sequence until we reach the end of the row. Row seven, we're going to begin by knitting one through the back loop. Then we're going to purl one, and we will knit one through the back loop again, and purl one, and knit one through the back loop. Okay, then we're going to start our repeat by knitting five. And then we are going to finish our repeat by knitting one through the back loop, purling one, knitting through the back loop, purling one, and then knitting through the back loop. So we'll repeat this sequence until we reach the end of the row. Row eight, we're going to begin by purling one through the back loop. Then we're going to knit one and purl one through the back loop. And we'll knit one again and purl through the back loop. Okay, then we're going to start our repeat by knitting five. And we'll finish our repeat by purling through the back loop, then knitting one, purling through the back loop, knitting one, and then purling through the back loop again. Okay, so we'll repeat this sequence until we reach the end of the row. Row nine, we're going to begin by knitting one through the back loop. Then we will purl one, then knit one through the back loop, purl one, and knit one through the back loop again. Then we'll start our repeat by knitting five. Then we're going to knit one through the back loop, purl one, knit one through the back loop, purl one, and we'll finish our repeat by knitting one through the back loop. So we're going to repeat this sequence until the end of the row. Row 10, we're going to begin by purling one through the back loop, then we'll knit one, purl one through the back loop, knit one, 
and purl one through the back loop. Okay, then we're going to start our repeat by knitting five. Okay, then we will purl one through the back loop, knit one, purl one through the back loop, knit one, and we'll finish our repeat by purling one through the back loop. So we'll continue repeating this sequence until we reach the end of the row. Row 11, we're going to begin by knitting one through the back loop. Then we're going to purl one, then we'll knit one through the back loop, and purl one again, and we'll knit one through the back loop once more. Then we'll start our repeat by knitting five. Okay, then we're going to knit one through the back loop, then purl one. We'll knit one through the back loop, and purl one again, and we'll finish our repeat by knitting one through the back loop. So we'll repeat this sequence until we reach the end of the row. Row 12, we're going to begin by purling one through the back loop. Then we're going to knit one, and purl one through the back loop, and we'll knit one again. and then purl one through the back loop. Then we'll start our repeat by knitting five. Okay, we'll purl one through the back loop, knit one, purl one through the back loop, knit one, and we'll finish our repeat by purling one through the back loop. So we're going to repeat this sequence until we reach the end of the row. Repeat rows 1 through 12 until you've reached your desired length. And that's how you knit the shingle stitch. And that's how you knit the shingle stitch. After a few repeats, your pattern should look like this. Want more New Stitch Today? Check out our website at newstitchaday.com.